Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So, um, BattleBox is back. And I'm going to explain to you why BattleBox is back. Um, about a couple weeks ago, I got a call, and it was from BattleBox. And I'm like, well, it's kind of weird. So, I answered the phone, and it was a person who was calling from BattleBox. And they were, they told me that... They had seen that I had been with them for a long time because I had like 50 orders like total and that's like two or three, almost four years. Uh, before I started the channel, I was really into BattleBox. So anyway, uh, they called and they asked, you know, they saw that I used to subscribe and then I stopped subscribing, then I subscribed again and then I canceled it again and they were just curious as to why um, I had done this and if I wanted to take a survey and also they had a special offer offer after the survey and i was like okay yeah whatever i'll uh i'll go along with it i'll give them the you know the five minutes whatever they need and uh so the first question he asked me is you know basically straight up you know why is it that i don't subscribe to BattleBox anymore and i explained to him that you know battle box used to be really really good uh until they stopped doing their themed boxes and as soon as they stopped doing their theme boxes, then they raised the prices. And it just really felt like after they had done the theme boxes for me, it just literally, they gave one good item and the rest are fillers, which we're about to see because I think a lot of people have probably already seen this box. I've had a sneak preview of this and, I'm, you know, it's... So that's basically how I feel about the box. And, and then I told them, and then it's, there's the value of, you know, what they want. It's like, it's like almost 140 something dollars with tax and shipping for the pro box. It's like 140 something dollars. And it's just, there's no way you're, you're out to lunch. So, you know, he, he noted it. He said he took it down and then he, and then he tells me about the offer. And then I want you guys to understand that this offer that he gave me, had nothing to do with my channel. Like, I was really thinking that when they called me, I'm like, oh, cool, maybe they saw my something on my channel, or uh, maybe somebody, well, whatever. I was hoping that maybe they were just going to give me a free box, you know, or a free whatever to review. No, so it wasn't that. So the offer that they were going to give me was basically they were going to give me the pro box at the original price, and that I would be grandfathered in unless I... Uh, canceled or yeah basically if I just canceled the box and then I would lose that price but basically I'm grandfathered in at the original pro box price um, and I told him well you know what let me think about it because to be honest with you I really need to think about it. it's, it's still not cheap sometimes it's crap and I was just you know up in the air so anyway I uh Gave it about two or three hours. It wasn't very long. <laughs> uh, for me to realize that, you know what? There's some good items in, in Battle Box that I do like. And there's a lot of items that I don't. But I feel that the one, two good items that the price that they gave me this... Or giving me this box at, I think I'm okay with it. So, this Battle Box uh, will be coming out of... I'll be paying for it. Uh... And, um, yeah, so here it is. This is Battle Box. I believe this is January's box because he said he would ship uh, the immediate one that was going on. I asked him, please, to do that. And so, without further more, guys, this is Battle Box. Uh, it will be on this channel um, probably until I decide that, hey, I can't afford this anymore. Or it's not really worth it anymore, but most likely probably because I can't afford it. Which I mean, I should be I should be able to, because it is a pretty good price, and to give it up would be really really dumb. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be sticking with Battle Box for a little bit now. And the other thing I have to say about this, because of the promotion that they gave me and the price they gave me on this box, it's not going to change my mind about items in this box or how I feel about it. I'm still going to give my honest opinion. And if they had happened... I I didn't give them my channel name. I just told them that I do have a channel at the end. 
hoping that maybe they give me even more of a discount, but no, nah, they didn't budge. So, um, my, my opinion's not going to change just because I'm getting a discount on the box. So, without further ado, let's get into this one. Hopefully we're not super disappointed. It's a little fat little box. Okay, so that open. I put my knife away because last time I didn't put it away, I um, lost it. Okay. Well, I already see something that I'm interested in. So uh, they put some packaging material in there, which is. Nice. I am looking for the card. Here's the card. Set that over there. Alright, what do we got? It's a nice view. I'm not gonna lie. Wish I could be there right now. And I'm sure there's a few of us probably do as well. So this is Mission Brief 107. Battle box mission delivered. Adventure delivered, my bad. So, yeehaw, it's time to kick off 2024. We hope everyone had an amazing 2023 and we look forward to an absolutely stellar year to come. Last year we hit several milestones, in which it was Mission 100 Shipment and Celebration. 2024 will be another year of excitement as we are planning in the planning stages of another fun event for our subscribers on top of an amazing list of gear that's set to appear in the coming months. Yeah, we'll see about that. This month is really exciting. We have a design in this box from an amazing person that may you may all know, along with many other items to add to your preps and adventures. So let's get on with breakdown of Mission 107 and bring in the, bring in the new year. Turn the friggin' page. Okay, so for you guys, uh, like I said, I'm not affiliated with BattleBox, but I will just go over everything that's in here. You do get the basic, the advanced, or and the pro. There's there's a bunch of different boxes. There's one, two, three, four different boxes: basic, advanced, pro, and then of course, pro plus, which we don't have because that box is like 150 dollars, I believe, something like that a month, and it's just not at the price point right now. But it's cool if they would have given me the discount on that. I should have asked. You know, sometimes closed mouths don't get fed. But then of course, yeah, I don't think they would have. Anyway, so we're going to start out with basic box right now. And we're looking at a product that's called No Slap. I don't know. I don't really want anybody slapping my nose around. Let's see what we got here. All right, No Slap, the wake up stick, altern alternative energy. Maximum strength smelling salts with essential oils. Oh, this is no bueno. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to read this first. I'll be honest, I thought this stuff was just for power lifters, gym folks, people getting ready for Dana White's latest slap competitions. Well, I was wrong. This stuff works great. It's a way to slap yourself in the face for a boost of energy for any challenge. So, Snow, no slap uses peppermint vapor, vapors to deliver an intense, refreshing blast of fragrance that instantly puts you in the mood to be an active, engaged in whatever th life throws your way. So yeah, um, if you guys aren't familiar with these type of products, uh, smelling salts, basically it's ammonia, and this is not approved by the FDA, I'm pretty sure it's going to say on here, because I was actually reading this earlier, um, anyway, I know this isn't approved by the FDA, and this actually can be really bad for you, because... When you're sniffing ammonia, it's burning the hell out of your nose, and it can ruin your nose. And if you were to over like abuse this, you could actually die. Like that is not a joke. See ammonium chloride. It says it right there. It's the second ingredient. So now I can understand like putting this in in a uh, med kit. And basically, if somebody's knocked out or whatever it is, and you need to get them up. But otherwise, this is something I would just throw in the garbage. But I will put it in a med kit. And no, 
I would not put this in a giveaway because I don't need anybody dying on me or getting their nose burned really bad. So, yeah, that's that's crazy. They're putting a stimulant in their box. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Anyway, all right, well. First useless item in the box. Anyway, to me, because I'm never going to use it. Sorry about the glare on that, guys. I don't know what the heck to do about that glare. I need to find a different kind of light over here. Anyway, so the next item is the Uberlin, Uber, Uber Lemon Tinder TP3 pack. So this is uh, Uber. We love Uber Lemon products. They are not only well built and thought out, but also fun to use. They, these assemble. These easy to assemble, dry kindling structure boosts an impressive three minute burn time. The laser cut Baltic birch four panel design allows for the perfect balance of airflow and combustion, ensuring a blazing hot foundation for your next fire build includes three units. And this was member recommended. So uh, this is the box that it comes in. Um, it's got a tab to, another tab to cut here. Let's go ahead and see what we got. All right, so yeah, you got your pyramid paper here. This is supposed to be, I thought it was cardboard, but what are these made out of? doesn't say what they're made out of probably it looks like balsa wood but it also could be just I don't know that's weird anyway so you get a bunch of those and then on the top here here's your pieces to uh, put them together this will snap them together you know this is um this isn't something I would throw in a go bag this is more of like a little, you know, outdoorsy type, something with the kids, or something to just goof around with, but, yeah, it's kind of, kind of gimmicky, to be honest, I would just use some fire gel and a emergency match or lighter, and yeah, same thing here, an easy assemble, blah, 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 dry kindling structure, so it is wood. Oh, it's Baltic Birch. My bad. I, You know what? I need to pay attention. Sorry, guys. It's Baltic Birch. Anyway, uh, cool idea. It's just not something... I mean, we'll probably end up doing a review of that uh, in the summertime when it gets a little bit warmer out. All right. So the next in the basic box is the Wicked Wax 2-ounce tin. You absolutely need to maintain your blades. There are many products out there to do this, but most are made from materials that are toxic to not only... To us, but it, but also the environment. Uh, Wicked Wax is cutting edge protection for your entire knife for for your entire knife. It's 100% food safe, organic, vegan, and made from all natural products. This wax can be used on pretty much anything: wood, steel, epoxy, plastic, and leather. It will revitalize, seal, and add a shine to most wood finishes. A primary use is to make metal rust resistant. Want to seal your leather and bring it back to supp suppleness? Wicked Wax will work great for that, too. Well, I like the idea that it's uh, food grade. I really do. Be and then, you know, also protect your... It's actually got a nice little smell to it. Uh, protecting your knives from rust. I My pocket knives get rusty all the time. It's the environment that I work in. So, I'm actually going to put this to use. Ah. You see, it's food grade and all safe and natural. I really, I actually like that. So, uh, this is something that I can get use out of. It's not going to get a lot of use, but it will get some use. So that's a cool product. I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, the Exotac Freaky Slim System. Now, <laughs> I'm not okay with this. Uh, this is actually a repeat item from years and years ago. So it says here that. 
it's a little things for me. If you have to manage multiple keys, if you like the versatility of key rings with your gear, this is an amazing redesign of the typical key rings many of us have come to despise. This award-winning design saves fingernails, simplifies the daily tasks of carrying keys, designed in Sweden and manufactured in the U.S. From high-grade stainless steel, free key slim system rings eliminate the always challenging operation of a traditional key ring by opening with a simple press of the ring. And that's where this it comes into not being very good. I actually have uh, this on my truck keys right now. And the reason why I don't like this is, and I still use it though, even though I don't like it, is the fact that, see, you press down right here, and it basically separates the ring. But every once in a while, I'll find a key ring, one of these guys, it's like halfway around the ring, and it's slipping off. And I actually have to re-put it back on. So it's like, if you're not careful, and you've got this on a carabiner on your ring, in, on your on your you know your pants, there's a chance you might lose your damn keys or a set of keys off of these little rings. It happens a lot, and to be honest with you, I just have never gotten around to uh, doing anything about it. But I I will tell you, um, besides the big ring, I actually like these little ones because they're really heavy duty, and I got some heavy keys that hang on my rings. And so I, I do like those, but this, as far as the, this thing, I, honestly, I really wouldn't recommend it. Just from experience, and I've been like, I've been carrying it for years, because this is a, this is, I don't even know what battle box this was from, but this is, oh, this is a long time ago. But, I mean, if you're carrying a couple keys, I could see it being okay, but I'm carrying like 30 keys on my keychain, and this is no bueno, no bueno at all. I don't. I don't know how, you know, because, I mean, if it's in your pocket, and once that pinches, see, and the ring slips, and then it just works its way around, and it comes right off, and it's not its not like it's very hard to, to push that, so, anyway, um, no bueno for me, I will use these parts, though, I, I'm not going to use this big ring, but I will use that one, so, that will do it for the basic box. That is also another member recommended. Uh, yeah, see these recommended, these member recommended things, man. I don't know about that because that's uh, that's crap, 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 crap. So anyway, we're gonna move on to the advanced box now. Some kind of cool, but I do believe this that this was in another box around. Uh, Battle Box 65 or 66 was the Dead Fish Ulu. It's one of the most fertile, versatile knife designs ever and has been around for centuries, whether you're preparing a meal in the kitchen, skinning game, or simply appreciating the beauty and traditional craftsmanship. The Ulu knife is a reliable and versatile knife that combines functionality with cultural her heritage. The Ulu is a traditional cutting tool that originates from the indigenous people of Alaska. Its unique design features a large curved blade with a handle attached at the midpoint. The distinctive shape allows for excellent control and precision when cutting, making it a versatile tool for a variety of tasks. The handle of this Ulu knife is made from premium Italian olive wood, known for its rich grain patterns and durability. This natural material adds a touch of elegance to the knife, and it makes it a beautiful addition to any kitchen or collection. All right, well... It comes in this box. Now I have actually seen the price of this, and this is a this is a pretty good uh, um, price priced item. So I would say that I'm okay with this being part of the value of this box because those other things besides the wax, it's, it's really just a filler. Let's see what we got here. I will tell you what's going to happen with this knife as soon as I'm done with it, though. My wife's going to take it. And that's okay. At least she'll get some use out of it. All right. I need to come open here. Okay, so... Oh, that's really nice, actually. Nice display. Really like the work on that leather there. That is pretty sweet. Oh, it's got some weight to it, too. Yeah, that's actually not bad. I'm actually liking that. 
Oh, the nice. Yeah, there's. It's very. Everything's very flush. It's, it's, it's got a really good feel to it. Let's go ahead and pop her out and see what we got. Ooh, look at that. Mirror finished. Almost mirror finished. Oh, that side's pretty close. Oh, that's that's sharp. Yeah, it's, it's got a really good edge on it. It's got a good weight to it. I like the weight for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually, this you know, because I'm going to get use out of this. And, you know, this is the, that's the thing. I kind of rate these boxes now for me. I don't rate, like, the quality of the item or, you know, what it is. But I really, the, the way that I'm starting to rate these now is, is if I'm going to use the item. If I'm not using the item, then it's crap. Like, look. Free key. I'm not going to use it. No slap. What the hell? And then, of course, you got some kindling in a box over there. So basically, on the on the on the uh, basic box would be just the wax. But this this is useful. I can get use out of this. The wife's going to love it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use that wax on this. So yeah. And the sheath is really it's really it's made very well. And it's got that nice. Nice smell to it, which everybody loves. So yeah, I'm happy with this. Yeah, that's, that's a really... And you know the other thing too about these boxes, I will have to say, is if you find items in here that you will never use, but you know somebody else will, great gift items. I've done this a lot. I will give people, I will give people items from subscription boxes. Because that's a great gift, and uh, I've done it. I've done it. All, I do it almost every year. I'm not gonna lie. So, and then of course some of the items I give to you guys and giveaways. Okay, so this is probably the bread and butter of this. Uh, well, for my for my because I only get the pro box, but you know I'm not able to get that freaking huge knife. Look at that thing. But for me, this is probably going to be the bread and butter, which is the Solo Stove Titan. So the, we we knew Solo Stove was a cool thing long before Snoop Dogg did. And the reason why he says that is because Snoop's been advertising for him. If you enjoy cooking in the backcountry by using natural, mater, natural materials for fuel, it's hard to beat the versatility that Solo Stove offers with this design. Once the stove gets operating temperatures, it's almost 100% smokeless and burns extremely hot and efficiently. You can boil in water in no time, which I heard is like 8 to 10 minutes, and is very stable for even heavy loads of pots and pans. The Titan's a bit larger than its counterpart we featured several years ago, but although it is larger, it's still compact enough to include in your kit for, kit for adventures in the wild. The weight on this is uh, 16 and a half ounces, stainless steel material. Diameter is 5.1 inches, 5 .1 inches, and the height's 7.9. Okay, well, let's check this out. You know, to be honest with you, I mean, I I, I typically just go with my BioLite um, rocket stove. But I don't know. Let's see. So this is rated best for two to four people I guess for cooking it's got a cooking ring on there secondary burn wire grate ash pan collects ash and protects your surfaces and then it naturally draws oxygen so alright well let's go ahead and have a look see here see what we got so what do we got here we've got a little instructions and other information uh, yeah user warning and all that other good stuff well uh, Solo Stove Community, got a cool little sticker here, probably throw it on my lunchbox, or 
my locker at work. I, uh, I like that it comes in its own bag. It makes it really nice so you don't get your ashes and everything everywhere. Alright, well, let's see what we got here. Not very heavy. It's actually a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. So that's nice. We could finish to it. So obviously, I guess you can burn it like that, just regular. Or you can tip it over and put your put your pot on there, just like so. Um, it says it's got an ash catch, but it doesn't obviously come out, so I guess you just dump it out, like so. Very interesting design. Kind of looks like they were trying to steal from BioLite, to be honest. But this is just natural airflow. The Violet uses a battery for a fan. Anyway, cool idea. I'll probably end up trying to check this out. Maybe do a review in the summer summertime. We got like a three or four atmospheric storms headed our way, so we're looking at like eight inches of rain by the end of Sunday. So. There's no chance of doing anything like that with this. We are not going to be out in the summer. Now, outside, I mean. So, anyway, cool idea, cool product. We'll check it out. So, well, you know, all in all, um, Battle Box wasn't so bad, but basically, like, I just, you know, this whole basic's just a filler. Basically, I'm not going to lie. I do know the prices of both of these items, and basically, this is what I paid for was these these two items and these are just literally fillers literally there's not much more you can say about it so um, other than that we will continue with battle box for a while see how it goes and uh, anyway guys that's gonna do it for this one if you guys have any comments or anything you'd like to uh, add in about any of the items you saw in here in battle box uh, feel free to put it in down in the comments and uh, that will do it for this video so if you liked it please give me a thumbs up that'll help with the algorithm and if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and hit the uh, notification bell so you get notified when uh, i upload more videos and uh, until next time guys have a good one